the project is uh, called a digital aid for language teaching and learning and uh, the goal here is to you know reach out to children of schools starting from class 1 up to class 10 and uh, give them digital aid for uh, learning a language now what does language learning mean language learning means learning the vocabulary the words of the language then also the grammar of the language how these words can be put together to create sentences which uh, make sense which have a meaning now this is based on our work on what is called Indian language wordnets. Wordnet is an extremely semantically rich dictionary where the words meanings are stored and meanings are also linked with each other. So for example, the fact that dog is an animal, okay, this information is stored as what is called hypernym relationship within the uh, within the resource. Now when children learn language, they uh, get the knowledge of words, how to use those words and how these words can be used to construct uh, big sentences to communicate their thoughts. Now language learning also consists of understanding parts of speech. For example, the nouns, the verbs, adjectives, adverbs. It is important to know that actions are captured by verbs, things in the world are captured by nouns. The quality of nouns are determined by adjectives, the quality of verbs are determined by adverbs. All these are important to know. And we also understand that if the words pronunciation are given, then they kind of uh, you know get uh, well interned in the mind. They sit in the brain, so to say. And if there is a pictorial aid, for example, there is a picture of a dog, picture of a book, then the concept is understood very well. Now, in the wordnet, we have words and their meaning stored, but uh, so far we have not uh, put any pictures and pronunciations in that database. Now, in this particular project, our goal is to enrich this WordNet database with pictures and uh, pronunciation of words. Now, while we do so, uh, we would like to make it a, a layered resource for educational purposes. At the lower level, for example, in class 1 and 2 and 3, let's say, in the, at the primary level, the, 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 the main words, okay, and what they denote, okay, for example, uh, dog denotes an animal in the outside world, but dog also has other metaphorical meanings. Those meanings are not to be communicated at lower level because this will confuse the learner. As we go higher up in the classes, we would like to introduce those fine shades of meaning, metaphorical meanings, other usages of the words. So for that again, it requires uh, putting enriched information, the pictures which are not to be shown in class 1, 2 and 3 will be revealed when for higher level classes so that their concepts are more uh, are richer in terms of language learning. So that is the main task and uh, uh, what we do is that we are going in a staged fashion okay, in doing, creating this resource. We are collecting words, we are interacting with the school children and trying to understand what their language learning needs are and while we are doing so we are also collecting lots of pictures from the web, we are also asking our uh, people to take pictures, draw pictures which can be uh, inserted along with the database in the, in the, in the word uh, repository and uh, as we go along we are also uh, speaking the words with uh, people who have good diction, clear pronunciation so that we know how the words are spoken. So this kind of enrichment of uh, the, the lexical resource base we know will you know, profoundly uh, change the way languages are taught in schools and even colleges I would say. And at the end of the project we uh, hope and we know this will happen. Children will have much better concepts and uh, much better grip on language along with, with its words and grammar. Thank you.